electrical, mechanical, aerospace, industrial, doesn't matter what it is. Engineering is tough. Studying engineering is really tough. About 40% of first year engineering students end up either transferring majors or even just dropping out in general. And in a study done in 2023, the average engineering GPA was recorded as 2.9. And some years it's a lot lower. Now, I don't mean this to scare anyone off from being an engineer by any means, but it's good to keep in mind. And it can be a pretty rewarding track, but we gotta talk about why it's tough though. So the first thing I want to talk about here is the lifestyle and the time commitment. It's a very demanding lifestyle. Engineering students often find themselves in late night study sessions, cramming out a bunch of homework or, you know, studying for an exam. And the lifestyle can be demanding. I really do remember those days. You know, it was pretty common. We'd stay up all night, you know, drinking energy drinks, eating junk food, and just like cramming out homework, studying for the next exam. It wasn't great. It wasn't healthy. And it is a testament to the passion and dedication that engineers bring to their work. But overall, the unconventional hours, even though they're a ritual for the journey, they're not exactly healthy. One of the major hurdles that make early engineering students really think about why they're doing this is time management. It's gonna be a brutal wake up call. Balancing lectures, labs, assignments, and perhaps even a social life can feel like an intricate juggling act. The workload can be super intense and effective time management is a skill that you really do train as you go along. Y'all, let me tell you, if I had one piece of advice that I would give myself in the past, it would be to get good at time management with. The number of exams I had to cram for that I ended up not doing well on just because I wasn't able to dedicate enough time to learning the exam material in a quality manner. And on top of that, I also just had general bad time management skills. It's not just about solving equations. It's about finding the time to solve them all, but also keeping about your responsibilities, keeping about your health, and really not going crazy from the workload. You miss out on some of the social life, unless you're wicked smart. There are people out there that are able to party all the time and also do extremely well in school. In general, you'll probably end up sitting out on some of the fun things that your peers and other majors are doing. It's just part of the life. All that being said, I do encourage you, no matter what, no matter how tired you are, to prioritize your health. It's the most important thing. Getting a piece of paper at the end is not the end of the world. Eat clean, go to the gym, and figure out how to get some sleep. You should really be prioritizing sleep. This is something I was horrible at. I would do all-nighters all the time and it was really bad for my health and again these are things that i would tell myself over and over if i could go back in time it will help your performance i swear you'll feel better and your cognition will be stronger when i first started embracing a really active lifestyle my junior year of college things significantly improved for me building a good lifestyle around engineering it takes dedicated effort and it makes engineering really tough the next thing to talk about here is mental stamina mental stamina plays a pretty crucial role and engineering isn't just memorizing formulas. It's about training your mind to handle complex problems and persevere through setbacks. The mental stamina required in engineering is like a muscle that needs consistent exercise. Whether it's pushing through tough exams or troubleshooting a project that went awry, mental resilience is a big key for success within the engineering room. I do believe in neuroplasticity. I do think it's actually a thing. There's two key takeaways here. In an engineering program, you're gonna learn to learn and you're gonna learn to perform. You're gonna need to do both things. As an engineering student, you'll go through a trial by fire and some students that go into engineering perform incredibly well and have a very high mental stamina. But oftentimes that's not the case. Oftentimes it's something that you need to train. Chances are you'll have classes that you're generally not great at, but what's important is having the fortitude to adapt, to push forward, and learn from your mistakes. You gotta learn to learn, and you gotta learn to perform on exams. Contrary to how this might seem, these are two very different skills. Learning how to learn topics effectively is something you'll embrace as a tool. Learning to perform is a method that you'll apply for studying for a very particular curriculum, like on an exam. I'll do a video in the future elaborating on these things. For now, I'll just leave it here and move on to my final point. The last thing I'll talk about here is the dedication required to be an engineer. Schools are partially testing dedication when forming new engineers, because oftentimes poor engineering leads to disastrous consequences. One bad engineering decision in the field 
could cost many, many lives if it's not caught. One example of this that I've got a big video coming out on is the Challenger disaster. This was a combination of neglect and poor engineering decisions that a lot of engineering schools use as a point to really put prospective engineers through the test. To be an engineer, you'll be put through the ringer. And piggybacking off of my previous points, you need to make time, you need to adjust your lifestyle, and you need to adapt and grow with ever-evolving information. If you're feeling burned out or like you're only in this for the money, I would advise that you consider doing something else. If you want more information on why you should or shouldn't go into engineering, check out the video in the link below. I go into a little more detail there, but ultimately being dedicated, being sure of yourself is a powerful tool at any stage of life. And the sooner you're sure about what direction you want to go in, the better. The tough part here is this revelation doesn't always come the time you need it. This could come potentially later in life. Like for me, it didn't hit me until two years after college. This is something that you should think on and work with your peers, work with a mentor, and really try and hammer down. So yeah, to sum it all up, Engineering is hard. It's not just about the technicalities. It's about managing your time effectively, building a lifestyle around engineering, building mental stamina needed for the journey, and really dedicating yourself to the craft. If you're an aspiring engineer, just remember that the challenges that you face are gonna be shaping you into a resilient problem solver when you're out in the field. That's it for this video, guys. If you found this video insightful, please hit the like button below, and I will see you guys in the next video.